Are you building an online business and working to grow your followers and your audience, but you don't just want any followers. You don't just want empty followers. You want followers that are raving fans who are 100% engaged with everything you put out there. And they're actually kind of obsessed with you and your business and recommend you to everyone engaging with all of your content more than all of your competitors. Well, the simple strategy that we're going to talk about in today's episode helps you to achieve exactly that. And the trick, spoiler alert, it's storytelling. And so if you've ever struggled with feeling like you're not a good storyteller on social media, this simple framework could change everything. So let's do this. Striving for a business breakthrough? Shortcut your learning curve to success with the right training, coaching, and support. Welcome to the Impactful Entrepreneur Show with Adrian Hill, a show for coaches, course creators, and network and affiliate marketers striving to earn six figures by leveraging social media without being slaves to their businesses. From an overworked hustler to an impactful entrepreneur, your journey starts here on the Impactful Entrepreneur's Show. All right. So welcome back. Today, we are with Elia Finkelstein, storytelling coach and digital marketing consultant. And she is a master at all things storytelling and has systematized this process in such a smart, simple way that I think you guys are just going to love it. And I cannot wait to dig into this topic. It's one of my favorites. So thank you so much for joining us, Elia. Thank you so much for having me, Adrian. I'm so excited to be here. So It would be silly for us to talk about systematizing storytelling without me asking you to share your story of just, you know, let the audience know a little bit about you and who you are and your business. And like, how how did you fall into storytelling? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it was actually completely by accident. I had no idea that I was a storyteller. It's not like someone that was born a storyteller, knew I was a storyteller, knew I was going to do it my whole life. It was not the case at all. I was joking with a friend of mine and saying that I could make a great storyteller. I could just, you know, I could, I could tell great stories of the industry that I was in at the time. And, and we were joking about it. And he called me up one day and said, hey, you know how we joke all the time about you being such a great storyteller? You're going to have to put your money where your mouth is. A buddy of mine is starting a media company and he needs a good storyteller. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Like, all right. I guess that's what I'm going to do. And so... I went in, I had no idea what I was going to, what I was really doing. I just was kind of young and and fearless. And I wrote my first story about a woman um, in horse racing and it ended up breaking all the records on their website. It crashed the website. It broke all the records like that they'd ever had for views and shares and everything. And I just kind of thought to myself, oh, I think I'm onto something here. (laughs) And over the course of three years, we managed to grow that media company to the place where we had thousands of followers. We converted them um, into um, a print uh, publication that I was then in charge of putting together. And I was overseeing all the social media and all of our digital articles, all through storytelling. And we built the entire community through storytelling and ended up being quite successful at it. So I took that and when I, when I left that company and I got into kind of the world of digital marketing, I saw how complicated we had made storytelling in digital marketing with 15 steps, right? And I just thought, gosh, this is not what I know to be true about storytelling. This, this, something's off here. Um, and that's kind of how I fell into it. It was, it was totally by accident. And now that's what I do is I really help entrepreneurs to simplify their processes and to find the stories in a very simple way that are going to move the needle in their business and help them captivate their audience, connect and convert. Oh, I love that. Well, and and number one, I'm so glad that you're bringing this topic to this audience because it's every digital marketer needs to be a storyteller. But what I love even more about it is like your gut instinct was correct. Like you were a storyteller. No one like, like bestowed some like title on you you just like knew it in your gut and kind of joked about it and then the proof is in the pudding you are a natural storyteller like so that's Mm -hmm. awesome well and I think the thing that you kind of are are really nailing there is that it wasn't just me as humans we are natural storytellers we are it's how we know ourselves how we relate to other people how we you know describe our place in the world and what we've been through um, how we connect to other people it all happens through story we do it naturally 
Um, which is why, again, when I got to the world, when I when I got to the world of digital marketing, I was like, "What is happening? Why? Who said we need twenty five steps to tell a story? This is crazy!" So, right, yes. Yeah. And it, since this whole event is all about simplifying and systematizing, this is perfect. So, so tell me, you know, when you're working in the online world and and building your audience and your business there, I mean, everyone, I think we all know deep down that we need a good story, but. Like, do we need like a, a big grand story or some like a rags to riches? Like, do we, do we have to have some massive transformation that we talk about? Like, what kind of stories are we talking about here? Yeah, that is such a great question. So the, the thing that we're all told is you need a grand hero's journey. And it's true, you do need a hero's journey, but we can leave it up to Disney and Pixar to do them in that huge grand way. As humans, what we actually do is we tell really tiny micro stories about our experiences in the world. And that's where in digital marketing, it's really powerful to know how to go looking for tiny moments that are just like packed with a ton of meaning. So I always st- say to people, you are not one story and one story is not all that you are. You are an accumulation of a lot of these really powerful moments in your life. And it's about getting into the habit or the practice of looking for these tiny meaningful moments that are really powerful that connect to what you're offering or what you're saying and why you're saying it or what you're doing and why you're doing it. Everything that you do in digital marketing has a story behind it. And when you can share that, it it just really helps your audience to understand that you've been through something, right? You were where they, you were once where they are now. And it also helps us connect as humans. It shows, you know, some vulnerability and it shows some, some character and some depth to who you are. So it doesn't happen and doesn't have to happen in these huge stories. Definitely does not have to happen in crazy rags to riches stories. Every story, no matter how big or small it is, is super valuable, especially when it comes to connecting to the person that you need to connect to. It's, you know, oftentimes for digital marketers or marketers in general, we get really caught up in the big picture things when it's the tiny things that make the biggest impact. So it's really about looking for those little, little moments that are super powerful. I love that tiny moments. It makes it seem so much less overwhelming just immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it goes both ways. So sometimes you think about something you're sharing, right? In the, in, for instance, when we have a sale or like a sales page that we need to use, you know, the objective is to create a sale, to create a conversion. And we go looking for the story that's best going to help somebody understand why they need what we're selling. Mm -hmm. And sometimes things just happen in your life and you're like, whoa, that was crazy, or wow, that was amazing, or something really changed in my life, or you had an aha moment or a light bulb moment. And those are little stories. And then we attach meaning to them because we know that the meaning is perfect for our ideal client. So it kind of can go both ways, but they're everywhere. Stories are absolutely everywhere in your whole life. It's just about getting into the habit of, of looking for them and then capturing them and attaching meaning to them that is going to be meaningful for your ideal client. So it matters to them. Yeah. Okay. I love that. So I'm starting to, I might, my creative brain is going now and I'm realizing it can be about tiny moments. So for those in the audience watching, think of some tiny moment or tiny story, or just like a seed of an idea. And through the rest of the interview, try to apply what Ellie is teaching us to that one tiny moment that you have in mind. So take a second. Do you have it? You have it. Okay. Hold on to that little seed of an idea. So once someone has this little seed of an idea of like zooming in on a tiny moment, is there a certain framework they can apply or a certain like a a three-step system or something like that? Like where do they get started? Yes, absolutely. And it's three steps. We're going to make it so simple. Perfect. So simple. So the, the first thing that you need to know before you begin, just like with anything that you do in your business is you need to know like, why am I doing this? What am I doing it for? What do I want to teach or impart to somebody else? You just need to know what you're doing because stories without that fall flat. They just become noise. So that's just the first thing you need to know. Once you've got that moment, that's the first component of a really good story is you need to really zone in on a tiny moment of time where there was some kind of massive transformation. And that transformation could just be a new thought or you do something that you couldn't do before, right? And now you have... Um, a new belief, you know, it could be you physically move a location and something changes, but we have these little moments of transformation. So that's the first component that you need to know is what is that moment? And you need to know it with 
as much detail and texture and kind of juiciness as you can get out of it. You need to get really into that moment. And that's the first component of every story is what happened before that moment of transformation? What was that moment itself? And what happened after? So where was I before? And what did it lead to? And that's really important in in knowing that's why it's so important to know why you're telling the story because the after the moment of transformation is going to reveal that why or that lesson. So that's the first component is really know that moment of transformation. The second step that we do is that we fill that moment of transformation with a ton of detail, as much detail as we can pack into it. And we do that because storytelling is a co-creative process. So the more detail that I put into my story, the easier it is for your imagination to actually work at building that out, that scenario out in your mind. And as soon as I've got your creative process going, I've now got your brain hooked on me and what I'm saying. And as we know in digital marketing, everybody is doing what? We're all competing for attention. So if I can kind of hack your brain and get you creating the story in your own imagination, now I've got you kind of reeled into my story. And these details do so much for the context of the story, for the setting of the story. They're super important. So you want to get as much detail as you can in there, right? Can we think about if I was flying 3,000 feet above wherever your moment of transformation is happening, can I describe it from that level? Can I describe it from the level where if I'm like in it at eye level, right? Can I describe it like that? Can I also describe it like in the body? So how does it feel under hand and foot on the skin internally? What is going on? Can we get to that level of detail? And that just, again, builds layers of letting somebody drop in to your moment of transformation. So that's the second component is all these details, how juicy and how much texture and life can we bring to this one tiny moment. And then the third piece, which is so important, is that we know that buying decisions happen from an emotional place, right? We we connect emotionally first, we buy emotionally, we're going to justify or bring in logic later. So if we can really connect, and not even just for sales, but just for getting somebody, you know, to, to connect with you, to want to hear more about what you have to say, you need to bring the emotion into the story. And so this is not just, you know, I was kind of scared, but I need you to tell me like, how did that feel in the body, right? Coming back to the details of it, give me like the real texture of this emotion. What does it feel like on the skin? What does it feel like in the stomach? You know, the floor dropping out, all these different things. Can you really get me to feel what you were feeling in that moment. And this is really important for two reasons. One is any time that the brain is triggered emotionally. So if the listener or the consumer of your story gets triggered emotionally, the brain says, oh, this is important. We need to remember this. We might need to survive this later, right? Remember this information. So we've biohacked the memory of the brain by just triggering some emotions. The other thing is it's just so important for entrepreneurs or anybody in a digital space where we're connecting across the screen This is how you reach through that screen. And it's your chance to say, listen, I'm the same as you. I've experienced the same as you. So in the emotions, can you actually get down to some of the real core human emotions that we all experience? And in doing that, it's just basically saying to your audience, like, I see in you what was in me. And so you can see in me what's going on in yourself. It just bridges that gap. And then that's it. You've got this amazing story that is is designed to connect and convert. Wow, that's fantastic. So, and and that totally makes sense. So I always tell my clients all the time, you have to captivate your audience's attention where like yep. they can't stop thinking about what they saw uh, you post like two days ago or something like that. So it totally makes sense if you can get them to create an image in their mind and then a feeling in their heart. Exactly. They're not going to forget you. Exactly. Exactly. And we know digital marketing, right? Like the people who are ready to convert immediately are going to convert immediately. And some other people are going to refer you to somebody else, or they're going to come back to you later. So it's so important that you're the one that they're thinking of, you got to get yourself into their mind. Yeah, yeah, that's fascinating. So interesting. So obviously, the storytelling can take you really far towards captivating your audience. Yeah. Do you have any any quick tips on how people can 
move from that cap, like captivating place to like implementing a call to action or getting someone to, you know, interact with your business then at that point? Do you have any tips on that? Yeah, well, it's the same thing as knowing that you are not a single story, right? You're a ton of different stories. And it's that knowing before you even begin, okay, what's my point here? What am I trying to do? So if I'm trying to specifically get you to convert, I need to know where are you now, right? In your experience, Mm -hmm. where do I need to get you to be so that you are going to convert? So it's knowing going into it before you even begin what it what the reason is what's the purpose here why am i doing this right why does my program exist the way that it does and what's the mission behind it like what and how did i get here why am i the one doing it you know do i want someone to just leave a comment on a social media post mm-hmm. then i need to be aware before i even begin that social media post that i'm looking for thought provoking things right my story has to be thought provoking or maybe it sits on the edge of the status quo and that's going to create a little, you know, dissonance and people are going to want to comment. So you have to know what it is before you go in and you have to be willing to tell the stories and test the stories because it's impossible for us to know what's going to land for our client or our ideal client or whoever it is. Um, It's impossible for us to know until we put it out there. So you have to be willing to put it out and look at the data and say, wow, this story performed really well. Um, and I got this kind of conversion out of it. So mm-hmm. now I know I can use this story when I'm trying to get that same result. So there's no like one size fits all kind of thing. You have to be willing to try and test and look and see what happens. That totally makes sense. So start with the end in mind Always, and yep. then layer the simple three-step framework over top of it. You have everything you need. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. It's simple. So I'm guessing at this point, the audience is like, getting really energized and maybe have like a lot of creative ideas. Maybe we just helped them just now co-create their own mini moment Mm -hmm. and some story ideas. But what if, what if some of the folks in the audience are struggling with coming up with those story ideas or coming up with those mini moments? Uh, Do you have, do you have any way to help them if they're just struggling with on the creativity side? Yeah, I'm going to give you 15 prompts to get you started. So I'm going to tell you my 15 favorite stories that entrepreneurs can tell right now that are going to help your audience get to know, like, and trust you faster than anything else you could put out there on the planet. So that is what I'm going to give everybody. And it'll be 15 things. It's specifically designed around finding these moments um, that are very intentional and strategic in the grand scheme of your business to attract the ideal clients, to connect with them and to captivate them. And then for people who are grabbing that VIP ticket, I'm going to throw in something a little extra. So if you grab that VIP ticket, I'm going to give you my master class on how to tell stories in three simple steps. It's going to break this process down for you in step by step by step, how to start, what to do. And it also comes with a workbook so that you can put it all down, see it all, and then be able to easily and really simply write your stories. I love that. I love that so much. So be sure to grab uh, Elias freebie. There'll be a button somewhere around this video where you can click and you can grab those 15 story ideas right out of the gates. And then again, if you are a VIP ticket holder or you decide to scoop one up, what I love about this is like, if you listen to this storytelling framework, this, this um, system that Ellie has built and you got some goosebumps thinking about what you could do with it, you know who you are. Um, If that was you, imagine taking the 15 story ideas that she gives you for free and then go into the VIP pass and watch the masterclass. You could probably like go pretty deep because of course she can get in far more detail in that class than we can here in just a couple minutes together, right? Yeah. So she'll go deeper into all, all, all the details of how to build out those stories. So then you can build out all 15 and yep. be like killing it. And you can, you can like use them in your business over and over again, test them out in different ways, different places, different platforms, perhaps. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Well, yep. thank you so much for joining us today and for giving us such abundant gifts. That is very, very generous of you. And um, I'm super excited to connect with uh, you guys in the Facebook group to make sure that we are implementing what we learned from Elia. And of course, she'll pop in for Q&A as well, just to make sure that you guys get all your questions answered. And so we'll see you in the Facebook group. Thanks for having me, Adrian. Thanks. Bye, guys. 
You've been listening to the Impactful Entrepreneurs Show with Adrian Hill, where we support coaches, course creators, and network and affiliate marketers to translate their big picture vision into actionable plans to build out their business efficiently. If you love our show, we invite you to visit buildalifebydesign.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover more helpful resources. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, review, and share. Thank you for listening.